Well, you know what I'm talking about here. I'm not going to demonstrate it um, because I couldn't. Uh, so it's a sort of party piece of, um, of uh, karate black belts of having a stack of planks, for example, or a brick or bricks, and breaking them. Well, let's have a look at the numbers here. Um, the key to doing this, by the way, and why you and I, if we're not trained in this activity, don't do it, don't succeed, is because when we apply our blow, we sort of chicken out a bit at the end, and we decelerate, because we think we're going to hurt our hand. And, of course, you're decelerating at exactly the point where you should be accelerating. So you think you're applying a hard blow, but at the last moment you sort of, you sort of do that, as though you're swatting a fly. Uh, whereas the true exponent is really aiming the blow at a point that's lower than the impact point. And that ensures that the impact point is hit at maximum acceleration. Well, what would you need... Uh, to split a block of wood. And if you look carefully at what goes on in these demonstrations, you will notice that it's not one big block of wood, but lots of planks. So what you're doing here is not breaking a very, very thick block of wood, but sequentially breaking a lot of thinner planks. And that's much easier. To break a a plank like this, it doesn't matter too much what the area is, 20 by 30 centimetres, say. The thickness, uh, one centimetre, what you've got to do is to break through a, sh a slice of atomic bonds. Okay, so it's like you take a little slice here, you've got to sever a slice of atomic bonds. If you make the plank thicker, there are going to be more atomic bonds in that slice to break, and you'll require more force. So for something that's made of wood, one centimetre thick, uh, you're looking at 3,100 newtons. For comparison, if you're sort of a typical person, you weigh 70 kilograms, for example, your weight is 686 newtons. Okay, so it's sort of five body weights, okay, to break that. If you had brick, Okay, same area, but a bit thicker, four times thicker. You'll need a little bit more, but brick's a bit more brittle than the, um, than the wood with its sort of fibrous uh, links. Now, a top karate exponent, black belt, will be able to bring in their hand at least seven metres per second <coughs> speed to hit the top plank. What's the mass of the arm that's moving at that speed? Well, 3.4, 3.5 kilograms, something like that. So it's not the whole body mass that's coming in at that speed. Okay, it's just the arm. So you can work out the momentum that is being transferred. It's the mass times the arm speed. Uh, and that's about 24 kilogram meter per second. So from that, we can work out what's the acceleration and therefore, what's the force that's being applied? Well, acceleration is really just uh, speed divided by time. So it goes from this speed, v, to zero when it hits the top in a very short space of time. So uh, the contact time with the wood at the top is just a few milliseconds. Okay, five milliseconds you'll see on film, typically. So you can estimate what's the acceleration that's involved with striking the top plank, it's mv divided by this time. Five milliseconds, 4,800 newtons. So this is easily enough to break this block or to break the brick. So it's not really even a challenge for a, a top karate exponent. Uh, he can put quite a number of planks here and follow through and break each one after the other. And the key is this uh, high speed at impact and this very short time interval where the speed changes, and that's the acceleration. If you slow your arm as you come in to hit, it doesn't matter what speed you started at, you'll be hitting it at almost zero, and there won't be any acceleration at all. 
and you'll just hurt your hand. Needless to say, don't try this at home. Don't try it on your home. 